Hey guys, what's going on? This is Wayne Ricanio with GS Motorsports, here to show you some of the performance trends coming out of the great state of Texas. This is my team Valvoline Nissan 240SX. I fitted it with a version select aero kit. It's kind of cool, it gives the car a better look but doesn't go overboard. So from the factory, these cars came with 155 horsepower. That's not really a lot for a performance car. What we did was we ended up changing the motor out with a turbocharged SR20 DET. Luckily these came out of the Japanese versions of these cars. With a turbo upgrade, some performance bolt-ons from Top Speed Pro 1, we were able to get the car to just under 400 horsepower. Some 19-inch work Durando wheels give the car a more aggressive look and some wider tires help keep the added power to the ground. We put some case board and Voodoo 13 suspension parts to adjust the ride height and handling so we can make it ready for track or soften the ride up to make it more comfortable for street use. Hey guys, this is Josh Roku uh, representing Voodoo Racing and Track Focus Motorsports. I'm here to tell you a little bit about my 1985 Toyota Corolla AE86. I've swapped the factory 4AG engine for a uh, Lexus 1UZ aluminum V8. It's mated to a W58 gearbox and it runs a Weir Performance custom rear differential. For suspension modifications, I currently have Stance GR Plus coilovers on Swift Springs. I use all Technotoy tuning control arms and rear lateral rods. The brakes are FC Mazda RX-7 running StopTech rotors and CarboTech pads. And uh, for rollers right now, I'm really happy with these Barrel Brothers uh, XR4 long champs in a 15 by 11 and a 15 by nine and a half. Car makes a little under 300 horsepower and uh, has been very competitive at 2,300 pounds. I run the Global Time Attack and lots of NASA track days and it's been a whole lot of fun.